A while ago, I showed in another video some limitations of the project tool and have explained how it's not a real wrapping around the geometry. You should not expect that a decal projection physically wraps around a surface like it would in the real world. It's more primitive and directional than that. Also, sometimes if you project a decal that is scaled beyond the target object's bounds, you'll end up with something like this. Whenever you see this, you can just undo and project again, but hold the Alt key, which allows you to manually set the projection depth. You can see here that decal machine only ever projects on the front and will always cut away back faces. You can also see how there's increasingly more distortion on the decal as the surface turns away from the projection direction. For a decal that's projected on a cylinder like this, so perfectly orthogonal, you can fix the distortion yourself easily in the UV editor. Just make a center face active, then unwrap using the follow active quad method, and that will give you perfect undistorted UVs. Then just make sure it fits in the UV space again. And there you go, now you have an undistorted decal projection around half of a cylinder. But what if you want to wrap it around further? Completely around the entire cylinder, or three quarters of it. What if you want to wrap the decal to the backside? You can do this too, but using the slice tool. I create a simple plane, and then invoke the slice tool, followed by increasing the width. I then assign the other decals material, or any other material really, and stretch the UVs to my liking eyeballing an undistorted wrap. And there you go, now we have a decal wrap around the object. Of course, the texture I'm using here is not dimensioned to fit a cylindrical unwrap at this decal width, which is why it repeats. So let's make it bigger and stretch the UVs so the entire decal fits exactly once around the object. What you can also do is wrap the decal around at an angle. It's important here to not slice in topo mode, so do not hold the Alt key while you invoke slice. You want a regular slice, and you also want to shrink wrap this now to better approximate the surface. Assign the info decals material again, and there you go. The decal wraps around the object at an angle and bends accordingly. You can also totally remove a part of it if you want, just make sure to also force a new unwrap after that.